an absolutely breathtaking, beautiful gold specimen from the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. A massive display of brilliant crystalline gold that jets out from the bright white quartz. A piece like this doesn't come along every day. A piece like this is what miners dream of finding. A piece like this is what dreams are made of. A masterpiece. Nature's Picasso. Gold Nirvana. There's only one problem with it. It's fake. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been fabricated. Total, total bummer. But, uh, we'll talk about it. Welcome to vlog. But I love making about videos one week to the next and there's just no pattern to this channel at all whatsoever. But as things pop up and I want to talk about them, we'll just make a quick video. Today, it's all about this piece. And when I first got this piece in, yeah, I was, I was stoked. I was super excited. First of all, it's Angels Camp, California or so. That's what they said. Now, a friend of mine sent this to me and asked me to evaluate it and potentially buy it from him. And it's a piece that he bought from a shop in California. Needless to say, eight and a half troy ounces of gold in here from California Golden Quartz. I was super excited. You just don't see pieces like this ever come up on the market. None of this stuff that's this big is being mined now in California. So this piece has aged it, it must have been from a prior collection so I saw a few photos of it truthfully and I noticed that there was some brown quartz on it along with the white quartz and I thought well that's you know that might can happen that that I've seen that before and you can truthfully put this stuff in a little bit of uh, oxalic acid or something like that and you can brighten up the quartz and probably get them to match a little bit I really wasn't worried about it but then it came in the mail and I opened the box. And there's a fantastic book written by Malcolm Gladwell called Blink. And it's all about thinking without thinking. And you're basically, there's a whole chapter in the beginning about going with your gut, you, you know, leading with your gut and that initial instinct, that first second when you see something and you say, man, that's just not right. You need to go with your gut and something isn't right here. And that was my first impression when I saw this piece in person not through the photos was that something's just not right here so as I started looking closer there is three pieces of brown quartz here along with the white quartz and a little bit of shale rock on it all in all a massive piece and really quite beautiful but what really caught my eye was this piece on the top, this piece of gold quartz that's brown. First of all, the color, why would it be brown on top, just this small piece here? And you're seeing it, right? This, this piece has been glued on to this piece here. And I'm positive about this, it has been glued on. And if you look at it from a 360 degree angle, not a single piece is actually truly connected. You can see a crack all the way around and it's really, it's really kind of a sloppy job. It's really whoever, whoever uh, fabricated this piece, you did it, you did a, a shitty job. It's, it's really not good. Okay, so this piece I definitely think is fake. So let's move on to the bigger piece. Obviously brown quartz as well, a brownish tint to it. So you start looking closer at how this piece 
is connected and you can clearly see as well some yellow tinting and some kind of foamy stuff where it connects and it's clearly the glue. see the adhesive on this bigger piece where they've glued it on to this gold quartz. And finally the third piece the color gives it away but truthfully it kind of blends in better than the other two pieces. This piece is harder for me to say and it probably would have fooled me if it was just this piece being on here that it wasn't actually supposed to be on her that it was fabricated uh, it, it blends in better than the other two but i'm going to call that as a fake add-on as well just because the color is different and by fake i mean fabricated all of this is real gold but it's four individual pieces four individual pieces that have been put together glued together to make one larger more intricate piece and if you look really carefully, you can even see the color of the gold is different, not just the quartz. Okay, so more evidence to add to my case. And my friend Ed, I've shown Ed's work. If you follow the vlog, you know all about Ed. But he is a big advocate and has shown me how to use these connectivity testers and it's a really simple device it's a, a metal wire a battery in here and a light and two metal prongs here and when you touch them together you complete the circuit and basically completing the circuit the light turns on very simple with gold being metal you can touch it to these different pieces and connect the circuit gold is a great conductor of electricity so everywhere where this gold is connected this light will turn on. And this piece is magnificently connected all the way through, even on the back side to the front side. You can see how wonderfully connected all this gold is. And that to me, when I see a piece that's super connected like that, it's, it's exciting to me because I know I can kind of etch it and play with it and work with it and really expose a lot of that gold. It's not just surface gold. But then when I take the connectivity tester, and I put it on the brown pieces of quartz. Watch what happens. These pieces are, again, very well connected. Everywhere on this large piece of gold, brown gold quartz is connected. But the second I move off of the brown quartz onto the main specimen, it's no longer connected anywhere. So this was sloppily done. Slo sloppily, is, slo is sloppily a word? I don't even think sloppily is a word. It was sloppy, it's sloppy. Whoever did this, sloppy, sloppy. Okay, moving on to the top piece, the one that's super suspect because it's just sitting there glued on. And you can see that all the gold in this smaller piece is connected by itself a smaller piece, but a beautiful piece of golden quartz. But if I start trying to connect it to the main body, this second piece is not connected at all either. So obviously the third piece, I'm gonna guess, is not connected. And yes, that's true. This smaller piece, it's all connected to itself, but the second you try and connect it to the main body, it's not connected. It's not connected. So yeah, what a bummer. What a bummer that this kind of stuff is out there and someone was just trying to make truthfully what was four good pieces of golden quartz into one massive piece so they could capitalize on it. The more gold on a specimen, the more value it's gonna have. The larger it is, the more value, the rarer it is. And that's what they were trying to do here is just make what was a pretty decent piece of California gold quartz with some real aesthetics and then they glued on these three other pieces trying to increase the value and enhance the value and it's sad it's really sad on this piece so this piece kind of has a happy ending or i should say nobody got hurt on this piece my friend is going to send it back to the dealer who he got it from and that dealer either fabricated it but he said he had no idea but he is taking the piece back uh, either he's the one that fabricated it and shame on you if you are sir uh, but you get to deal with this piece now at least my friend was not hurt by it and if that dealer was hurt by it he knows who he bought it from and he can go trace the source and eventually find the person who did this 
sloppy etch this this just sloppy fabrication of what could have been a beautiful piece what was a beautiful piece on its own so this stuff is out there go on ebay you'll see it all the time on ebay and you just need to be really careful everyone who buys golden quartz or has an interest in golden quartz should go buy this seven dollar tool it is it really i gave my friend one so that he would know when he's looking for this stuff just how to evaluate these pieces just based on the connectivity of them and if you have a rock that you think is gold go get one of these as well and you can see if it's actually gold or not just by making the connection we get a lot of people all the time emailing us thinking they have gold when truthfully they just have a rock and if it's not going to make a connection like real gold does it's just a rock I'm gonna leave it there. I gotta take this piece back to my buddy, but I asked if I could show it to all of you and make this video. And if you're here still watching, then I think you probably like what we're doing here. I think you're kind of a fan of the gold vlog and maybe you should maybe you should think about subscribing. Just hit that little subscribe button down there. Maybe on your way out, you'd hit the thumbs up button. That helps me out too. And I uh, appreciate you. I appreciate you. Be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.